Hi. Welcome to SKM Tutorials Hub. This is the fifth video of HTML series. In the previous video, we have learned how to add colors and styles to our web page. If you have missed that video, you can watch it from the link in the description box, or by clicking the i button. Today we will learn about lists and its different types. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Why do we use lists in HTML? Basically, HTML lists are used to display a list of data in an organized way on our web page. These are the three types of lists in HTML, ordered list, unordered list, and description list. In ordered lists, the items are marked with numbers, starting from 1. In unordered lists, the items are marked with bullets. And in description list, we can add description after each item. Now we will see each type of lists using examples. First we will see, how we can create an ordered list in HTML. Here, a L tag is used to define an ordered list, and the L I tags are used to define the list items. Now, save the file, and open the web page. So, you can see, we have created an ordered list, and the items are marked with numbers. We can change the style of the list. Let's see how we can do it. We can change the style of the ordered list by using the type attribute. Here I am using the type capital A. After saving the changes, you can see, the items of the ordered list are marked with uppercase alphabets, starting from A. In HTML, we can use five different styles of ordered list. First one is number. It is the default type, so we don't have to write this. Second type is uppercase Roman numbers. Third type is lowercase Roman numbers. Fourth type is uppercase alphabets. And the last type is lowercase alphabets. The five types are shown on the screen side by side. We can also change the starting index of the ordered list by using the start attribute. I am giving the start value as 3. Now after saving the changes, you can see, the ordered list is displayed with starting index C. Next we will create an unordered list in HTML.
Here, UL tag is used to define an unordered list. And the li tags are used to define the list items. Now, save the file, and open the web page. So, you can see, we have created an ordered list, and the items are marked with bullets. We can change the style of the list. Let's see how we can do it. To change the bullet style in unordered lists, we have to use the type attribute, like we have used in case of ordered list. Here I am using the type square. After saving the changes, you can see the bullet style has changed to square. In HTML, we can use four different styles of unordered lists. First one is square. In this type, the list items are marked with squares. Second one is disk. This is the default style. In this type, the list items are marked with solid circles. Third one is circle. In this type, the list items are marked with rings. And the last one is none. In this type, the list items are not marked. The four types of bullets are shown on the screen side by side. Next we will create a description list in HTML. Description lists are also referred as definition lists. Here, DL tag is used to define a description list. The DT tags are used to define the terms in the description list, and the DD tags are used to define the descriptions. Now, save the file, and open the web page. So, you can see, we have created a description list. We can also create nested lists in HTML. What is a nested list? A list within a list is called nested list. Let's take an example. Here two unordered lists has been nested within an ordered list. The ordered list is the outer list, and the unordered lists are the inner lists. Let's see how we can create nested lists in HTML with an example. First we have to declare the outer list.
the inner list has to be written within the outer list. I will be adding some more inner lists in this list. Now save the file and open the web page. So you can see, how I have created a nested list. Similarly, we can also create nested lists using different types of lists. Like OL within OL, UL within UL, DL within OL, etc. That's all about lists in HTML. If you have any queries, write in the comments. If you find this video useful, like the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.